Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna be doing Riley, the elf on the shelf, and he's pretty big. He is 40 inches, so I'm excited to put him together. He's gonna look flawless because as you can see, everything on here is seamless. We were able to get everything to fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, so you're not gonna see any seams in the color. Um, and we personalized it with my daughter's elf's name. Um, so we're going to get started. All right. So first thing is we're going to put this aside for now because when we're doing off the mat, the easiest thing to do is to set our bottom. So our, this is our black background and because it is 40 inches, it is long. So I've already pieced it together, like where everything needs to go, um, right side up. So like you can see, this is the bottom with um, the little wooden piece that he's sitting on, right? So here's his body. So obviously you can't see everything at 40 inches, but what you wanna do is we're gonna tape this guy together so that we can put all our layers on top. So we're gonna tape from behind because we don't wanna see the tape at all because there are gonna be um, some like where you're gonna see the the outline right so we don't want any scotch tape to come through because the even though it's clear it actually against that black background it really shines through so what you want to do is basically you want to flip everything over because we're gonna be taping it from the back so all right once you have everything flipped over what you want to do is you just want to get regular scotch tape so I have my scotch tape here you want to tape two pieces together at one time. And one of these days, I'm gonna get like a big tape dispenser. <laughs> All right, so I always just, you know, just take two pieces. Um, this is, if you follow along designs, the, desi the design space tutorial, what I always do is I build basically this grid of squares right and they're all flush together and the reason why i do that is so that when we piece this together we have nice it's like a you know it's just like a regular jigsaw puzzle that you like where you have all four corners meet it's so much easier to put your pieces together when they line up like this as well as this so that one it helps you just to like know where the pieces go two it helps with the seams because we're able to push this right up to each other. You sh hopefully shouldn't be able to see, see the seams at all. So I'm just gonna tape this down for now. And what I mean by that is this piece is seamless for all the colored pieces, right? But our black background, where you're going to see the seams are just the edges right here, like this right here. So, and it's minimal. Each piece is gonna be like this much. So when you add up the, t the sum of all the seams, it's maybe like an inch, right? So it is virtually seamless, but we wanna make sure that where there are seams, that we've done everything that we can to minimize actually seeing it. So what I mean by that is later, so we're, I'm taping these two together right now, right? We're gonna tape this pair together, and then we're gonna tape these two pairs together. When we tape these two pairs together, we wanna to make sure that at the edge, where it's actually going to be a little flimsy right here, we wanna make sure that we tape all the way to the edge because you see the seam when it catches light and because it's bending. If it's completely flat, even when it catches light, it's not gonna catch anything, so you're not gonna notice it, and it's towards the edges, right? What you're focused on is going to be how cute the face is, the bright shimmery colors. So you're, we're just doing everything in our power to make this a seamless project. So, and we do that by picking the right images, the right colors. Um, you know, I will not do a seam down the face. So even though you can see the princesses I have behind me, some of them go all the way up to 60 inches none of them have a seam in the face because with the light colored cardstock, if there's a seam, it is so distracting. It doesn't matter how cute, how big, that's all you're gonna see and you're gonna hate it. Well, I hate it, so, <laughs> so I won't do it. All right, so now I have these two pairs together, right? 
So now I'm going to do these two together. So you just wanna kinda of like lift up and push in as much as possible. We'll do the four corners first, and then we wanna take it to the edge and make sure we get right here. Oh, and you can't see it. Right here. And right up here, we wanna get that down. And it's all going to be sitting on this black foam board later, but like I said, um, we just want to make sure this is as seamless and beautiful as possible. So I'm going to do this one down to this. I'm just going to scooch this down. and then we'll get the hat. So this is the hat. And of course the hat, the big, you know, there's a big red triangular piece coming and it's gonna go right over the seams right here. So you're not gonna see this, but you will see it at the edges, right? So we wanna make sure that your edges are taped down. Okay, and it looks like I didn't do this right here. and then one right here. Okay, so we'll flip this over. I'm gonna remove this for now, I think. Actually, you know what? I am, yeah, let's remove this for now. Let's just piece them together. Okay, so now what you wanna do is, and you're not gonna be able to see it from top to bottom because like I said, it's 40 inches. So we're gonna piece this together because the hat is a big portion. I'll show you what the hat looks like. <laughs> it's so big. Oh my gosh. I knew it. Did we? Oh no, wait, maybe it's, oh, it's this way. I taped it on wrong. That's what happens when I must have just put it down incorrectly. It's still lined up. That's why it happened the way it did. <laughs> but I had a feeling. All right, so let's undo this. It should go this way, okay. So this one, I'm going to tape from the front just because I don't wanna flip it over again but I know it's okay because I know this red piece is gonna go over that. So that's why I'm taping it there. But I will, when we flip this over, I will tape the edges. But for now, I'm just gonna tape it right here because it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, so here's the top portion, which you can't even see all the way when you move this down a little bit more, but you can see the hat is like, quite a big piece. Now, while I'm talking about the hat though, this hat is actually longer than 12 inches when you do it this way, because it's gonna measure from the tip here all the way to the bottom right here. So what we did was we tilted it this way until we were able to get the highest point to the lowest point was less than 12 inches. We were able to cut this perfectly really pushing the boundaries of the 12 by 12 cardstock though. But all right, I know for all intents and purposes, Design Space thought we had an, a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock as well as a 12 by 24 mat. But all right, so I'm gonna move this up. What you wanna do with off the mat is always, at least what I think, is you should put down all your pieces first and then kind of like measure, like make sure that the outline is all, um, you know, perfectly even all around um, before you tape down. Because once you tape down, once you start to tape down and you're a little bit off, then you might think it's okay, but the little bit off here becomes a big off up here. And so 
your project's gonna look really, really funky. So just trust me on this. I'm always realigning no matter how good I think it's going to be and it doesn't need realignment. It always does. And partially maybe because um, these projects are so big and you're seeing them from the side. I always have a hard time like, I'm always looking at the camera to make sure to see if it's even or not. But it's a little weird this way. So I know I'm gonna need to readjust this because I'm having, I'm struggling right now looking at this piece. But you can see him coming together. He's so pretty. Everything is just so adorable. Um, I get a lot of questions on my cardstock. So here for the red, I did use, let me feel it, I can tell. I used Cricut um, red and white. The brown was just, I don't know, whatever was on sale, either at Michael's or Joann's. My skin color though is a pad from Michaels. It's by Craftsmith and it's called the Blush Pad. So it's one of those 12 by 12 pads that are $20, but they're always on sale, right? Well, not always, but um, you wanna make sure that you always buy when it's on sale. <laughs> so um, on sale, you can get it for as low as $4.20. So. That's when I definitely stock up on that. Okay. Um, so face. Now the hat, um, I used, this is glitter HTV, so we're gonna be ironing it on. I definitely prefer that over, um, well, I just wanted to add that on, another element. I like the, the colors um, okay so we're almost done here is this so it looks like my head needs to be this way see he's a little off what is going on I feel like I'm missing a piece okay oh the hat was totally off okay so the hat needed to come down a little bit there we go. And the eye is all the way up here like this. So there's a little seam coming down his face right here. And normally it's covered, but this piece, I should have contoured this piece so that I can enclose all of this. But you can see I have a piece of black underneath it. So it would have covered any seams coming through here because you can do that because this is enclosed and this is enclosed, but this did not attach. So I couldn't create a black background for that. All right, so let's work on this. So we have this, let's work on the face. So let's take these two pieces out and we'll put the eye over here. So the first thing is on this one, I would just flip this over and do double-sided tape. Now do not, I because this the skin color is so um, light, I don't like to use glue or um, a hot glue gun or anything like that. I, oh, I don't want to use this one. Hold on. I just use my fabric scissors on this. <laughs> All right. So I, I really do prefer double-sided tape because even with the really nice glue, sometimes like if you're just a little um, off your game and you do a little bit too much of glue, it comes through because it's so light. So I definitely, um, if you have double-sided tape, that's what I, I prefer to use. And it will last. Um, it's not a high touch item, I don't think, because you're gonna put it up for your party decor or even when you sell it, um, 
it's going to be propped up or and then usually i feel like most of my customers will put it up in the in the kids room afterwards so it's not on the floor it's on a wall um so it doesn't get a lot of traffic all right so with these two pieces you just you just want to put it down um you know it lays right on top of it but don't push down until you're ready like until everything's lined up even though it's double-sided tape and it's strong tape it will still allow you to adjust a little bit if you don't push down so now that i'm good i'm going to push down so there's your face right so we can do the cheeks and everything because this doesn't require a lot of um thinking <laughs> right like we can line that up pretty easily so i'm gonna move this for a second and i'm gonna grab i thought i had it out so i apologize um i don't have it with me oh here my scissors these are my regular scissors all right So I'm just putting tape down. My pieces don't want to release today. Okay. And the other thing is, if you saw, I, I usually use those foam boards for my off the mat, right, to create um, just stability and make it sturdy. But I also, because it's only a dollar from the Dollar Tree store, I also use it to transport my project pieces. So I like to lay everything out and it's easy to, you know, bring it back and forth. Okay, so this is all good. I'm going to put this down so that we don't lose this piece. And then I'm going to just put this over here. So let's balance out everything right now and make sure that it is um, uniform before we start to tape everything down. So let's start from here. So some things we know where they go, right? Like we know this stick is easy to, to do, the two sticks. Okay, why am I struggling here today? This doesn't feel right. What is going on? So this we can tell, like this goes along with this curve, right? So it means this needs to move over a little bit. Okay, where is, oh, hold up. This is why. <laughs> I had the pieces backwards, like, oh my goodness, was not making sense. All right, so this guy is over here. And you see how everything goes with each other, right? Like, this is parallel to this, so we want to make sure everything balances out okay does that look okay that looks good this needs to be adjusted Don't worry about the eyes because the eyes are inside. I'm making sure that everything around is, no, his face is not right. Is that 
more even. Yeah, and that looks a little bit more even, right? And then this goes down a little bit, and then we have our hat. All right. Um, I feel like this is too far. Okay, he looks good, right? All right, so let's see. Let um, his ears go. I want to make sure that the face, the face is kind of difficult in this, in this little piece. All right, so if we're happy with everything, which I feel like we almost, I'm almost happy with everything. Is he even now? <laughs> I think he is. So what's probably gonna be easiest for us is if we do the small pieces, because all the big pieces are left, we can do the small pieces and kind of like piece down things one at a time. We definitely know the sticks are good. So, oh my gosh, and I just bumped everything. <laughs> okay, we good. Okay, I think we're good. So let's um, let's do these pieces. I'm also gonna take, let's see, do I have any cut? I I have some pieces already cut. So I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna flip this over. And I'm gonna, we're just going to now tape down our pieces one at a time. I know it's a little tedious here. I also like to use the Tombow, this one right here. I like that a lot too. We'll be using that in a second. So, all right, let me put this down. And again, with this piece, when you're putting it down, until you push down on it, it's still a somewhat movable piece, okay? All right, so we've got that down. Let's do this one next. And then this piece is hanging over, I'm just gonna fold it over. You don't want any tape to be hanging over because you'll see it against the black. Okay, so that piece is down, yes. All right, so we're going to piece down the rest of this. So let's do this one at a time. You can also, because this is glitter cardstock, if you wanted to, you could also have your hot glue gun going because we will need the hot glue gun for the foam piece at the end for the foam board. So sometimes I will use hot glue gun or I do prefer my tape though because I feel like it really sticks on and I can push down and make sure it stays really well. So I have for Christmas, I have the Grinch, a Nutcracker, and then this guy and Cindy Lou Who. So, and this is the last of my pieces for Christmas. So if I'm missing something or if you wanna see something, you can still post your comments. I will show you how to do it in design space. I just won't be making it. But once you do one of these, from a um, assembly standpoint, I feel like you've got it down. There, there's not, the trick isn't there as much as it is in design space to make sure that you have a seamless project. Okay. But 
just before you tape things down, as you're cutting things and pulling it off the Cricut mat, if your project already looks so cute, you know you, you have a winner. And this one with the eyes and the face, it's so cute. And unfortunately, you know when you have a dud too. <laughs> and so you don't even want to finish the project when it doesn't look good. All right, so we've got that down. Let's let's do this foot. Um, let's see. What else do you need? Um, I do like because I used the black foam board from Dollar Tree, and it's a dollar, so you're gonna have a hard time convincing me to go somewhere else. Um, having a white Pencil is really nice to draw your outline because we're going to be tracing the outline onto the blackboard so we know where to cut with our X-Acto knife. So um, being able to see your outline with the white crayon or the white, um, yeah, white, white pencil is, is really nice. So I'm going to put this kind of off to the side while I tape this one up so you know what I'm doing. I just don't have any more space to spare. And if you're curious, let's see, I do have a new supplier for cardstock because I've noticed all year long Cricut has been either very low on their supplies or completely out and they have been completely out of their glitter cardstock. So, um, and I use glitter cardstock for not just these projects, but for cake toppers and banners. So I am, I definitely like my glitter cardstock. And I found a really good supplier. The colors are beautiful. It cuts well and it's sturdy. Um, and it's from Ground Up Creations. So in case you ever wanna check that out. I don't have a code for you, although if you use it, um, actually wait, do I have a code for you? Let me double check. I forget which places give me a code or not. So, um, all right, so let's, on this one, I'm gonna leave it down because with glitter cardstock, you can lift it up a little bit and it's not gonna um, put a crease in your paper. So I'm just gonna lift this up, put it on this side so that I don't lose my place. And hopefully I can do this while I am talking to you. I don't know if it's just like the holidays and the pandemic. I swear my craft projects have not, like, <laughs> that was a joke. It like all curled up. Okay. Uh, my craft projects have been just one disastrous moment after another. <laughs> okay, so let's put that down. Oh my gosh, well, and now this part is down well, I can flip this up and tape down this side. Um, okay, so that was a hot mess. <laughs> All right, so now, Just make sure when you're doing this that you're not folding down the paper hard. I mean, it's, you know, it's a nice um, cardstock, but to a certain extent, right? You can't bend it completely. Okay. So, okay, so this is down, this is down. Okay, my arm needs to be down. And this guy, he's like, so good so much bang for your buck because he's only in a few pieces right i mean it may seem like this is a lot of work but in comparison to some of my other pieces this one is pretty easy everything is in big pieces um no intricate small pieces the smallest piece you have is like really in his face and those aren't even that small i mean especially at 40 inches right okay so I'm gonna put this down over here so you can kind of see where I'm 
going with this. Oh my gosh, sometimes you just have to laugh at how ridiculous things are. Okay. All right, so now I didn't put this one down. Had a feeling, okay. And I'm going to need to plug in my glue gun soon, as well as my heat press. And I am using my mini, which I absolutely love. I keep it out almost on my desk at all times. Okay, so that's all down. Let's get this down. And this one I'm going to do in pieces as well. So I'm going to just lift it up here and try to get it right here. Oh my gosh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to fold that over. Push this down in the corner right there because you don't want any tape to come through. All right, so this from the neck down, well, except for the neck, which we're gonna do right now. And on the neck, I'm just gonna do this one because it's kind of um, small. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna move him down. His face definitely needs to be realigned, right? A little bit. I mean, obviously his hair. Does it? Now it looks pretty good, right? Okay. So what we can do is we can do his hair first, then we know exactly where the face is gonna go, right? And we can also do the eyes. How's that? Is that look good? I'm trying to see where his eyes are supposed to be. Let's see, it is right here. Yeah, that looks... Okay, so let's fix, let's make sure that the hair and everything is exactly where we want it to be. Okay. So let's tape down his ears. I'm just gonna flip this over. Same thing with this piece, and I'm just gonna grab some scratch paper. Or I can use this here. I don't want to get my board all sticky, so. And this brown is from Open Stock at Joann's. So I will go and get their Open Stock glitter. Um, 
when it's 60 to 70 percent off so then i'll stock up on that so that's i recommend that shopping practice <laughs> and that's when it it makes sense to buy right oh my gosh what is going on with me today And I will also, when they're having that 60 to 70% off, I will also buy the 12 by 24 sheets of cards, uh, glitter cardstock. They have really, really nice 12 by 24 cardstock. And occasionally, like when you really, really are in a bind and you need to use that, um, that's a great time and price wise too. Okay. That just felt funny for some reason. <laughs> Don't ask me why. All right, let's see. Ah. <laughs> it's almost dinner time. Okay, let's see. Let's put that one down. Okay, this ear needs to go. Now, if you do this, can you see that little webbing right there? You want to make sure that you catch it before you put it down. It's because it'll stick onto the black and you will be able to see it on your black. So you want to make sure to get rid of that while it's easy and while you can. All right. So now we got to put down his face. Let's do the eyes so that we don't have to worry about the eyes moving. Um, the other thing is with these projects, if depending on where you live and if you're putting this outside um, for your party, I wouldn't recommend leaving it outside because it's paper. But um, I had it one time where it was baking in the sun. It was so hot it got, it wasn't even that hot. It was just in the direct line of fire of the sun. And so what happened was the sun with the heat on like that, it was, it was like it was reactivating the tape and the glue. And so it was making it, it was softening it up. So it was kind of like gliding a little bit. So just be careful like with the products that you use, um, whether or not it could, you know, really withstand um, the elements outside. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down as well. The face is still good, okay, the face is still good. I'm gonna do the face first. I don't feel comfortable doing the eyes, okay. So with the face, this one, I mean, it's the whole black back, so. We can just easily put down bigger pieces here. And put this gigantic piece. over and we have all the hair pieces and the ears in place so we just kind of need to put this down and feel good about it <laughs> and okay that felt pretty good um all right so let's do the rest of his eyes
right, so he's, um, and right here, what I would do is I would take little, um, I have it, give me just one second. Where is, oh, here it is. These little small um, glue dots. And I would just even roll it on my fingers like this. And put it where the tips are so that it doesn't pop down. Okay, all right, so that's good there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna plug in my mini press right now. So here it is. And I'm just gonna turn it on so that we can um, do the name because I want to do that before I put this piece down. But we can do the hat. So let's flip the hat over. It's a gigantic piece. Let's make sure that it stays down. And on this one, we might need a little piece up here. So, keep the, although this is pretty thick paper, if we do this, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Come on, okay, there we go. I'm going to flip over and okay and then this doesn't even need to be that hot I'm gonna put it right on top okay so with the name I kind of want it curved so I'm gonna just peel this off because it's glitter cards uh, glitter HTV it's kind of thick and sturdy so it's not a delicate thing i wanted kind of you know like a, a little bend to it and not straight across so i'm gonna do that and this um transfer sheet it kind of keeps the heat from really hitting. So I do like to um, take it off as soon as it's released from here. And then I put my Teflon sheet down and I feel like it gets so much better heat um, that way. Okay. So let me move this. So see, you can kind of play with it a little bit more. Kind of going along with this curve and then I'm going to put my Teflon sheet down and then here's my mini I'm gonna get just the top part because I can see it's not completely down, but it's down pretty well, especially because it's obviously not gonna go through the wash. I'm gonna take this out for a second and make sure my letters are still lined up the way I want, want them to be. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I ironed this on by mistake onto my Teflon sheet. It was on the wrong side up <laughs> I'm gonna take that out I know I haven't done the eye it's kind of in the line of fire okay. oh the other reason why I did HTV is you can see how thin the letters are so I didn't want to um, deal with the cardstock being kind of thin and taping it down. So, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
Okay, so now you know HTV. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, so this is down, so then we just need to, let's look to see. It's a little misplaced, huh? It's like too much. I already put the hat down. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Turn this off. Okay, and tape this back, and then we'll be almost done. too much. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this is what he looks like. Really shimmery, really pretty. So even with all that work, I feel like the head, I needed the hat to move down a little bit more. It is what it is. Okay, he's already down. All right, so I'm gonna bring back the blackboard. So give me a second to just get all this out of the way. Bring back the blackboard. We're gonna trace the outline around it, and then we're going to glue it together. So here is my foam board. Now remember, he's 40 inches, so he's gonna be bigger than my board. But the hat, let's see, I think we'll glue a little bit of the extra pieces to the hat, so we'll extend that, okay? So let's look at this, and let's just get this down, and then we'll deal with the hat in a second. So here is my white pencil. And I'm just going to go all the way around, okay? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Hold on, let me get my good eraser. Jeez almighty. Okay. You're gonna go all the way around. And we're almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna lift him up. And do you see, you can see the outline now, right? Um, so I'm gonna get, hold on. Um, I am gonna get my Cricut knife blade, which I am so sorry. Oh, losing my mind. <laughs> Slowly but surely, okay. So I am going to cut inside the lines, okay? Not a whole lot, but I don't want to I don't want this board to go outside of my piece, so I'm actually going to cut inside my piece. And it also depends on what you plan on doing with the with the piece. Um in this case, I know I'm going to be putting it if he's going to be on the wall, so or on my um it would be great if I was going to put it with the with the stockings below. So 
it's going to be on the wall. I don't need it to go edge to edge. So anyway, I'm going to cut inside the lines. I'm just going to take it over here. And I want to get rid of some of these pieces. So I'm going to... a big piece okay and I'm gonna use this piece for the hat do you see like just enough to give it a little bit of support okay so now I'm going to do this side and I like to use like a smooth one kind of stroke or actually maybe I'll use this for the hat we'll see I'm gonna put these aside these extra pieces and we're gonna glue them together kind of see it's coming it's starting to look like the elf right okay oops oh my gosh Almost done. Okay, so now I'm going to grab, so you see, if you remember, his hat is cut short, right? So I wanna add on just like a small little piece up here. So I'm going to do something like this, just to give it some stability, but doesn't need to be a lot, like just like this, and I, let me just cut this piece off just to make sure it fits the hat. Something like this, okay? So let me, let's um, plug in our glue gun. And it's gonna be a big one. So this one takes the big, it's the longer stick so that we can glue down a lot at one time. So I'm plugging this in and wait for this to get going. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay, it looks like I can go only on low heat right now. So I'm gonna do that. We're going to basically take the glue gun and glue it right here. And then we'll flip it over and glue it on the other side to make sure that it's on. And then we're gonna glue our piece down. So it's pretty easy. I'm gonna bring back our piece right now. And I realize the sticks are a little long, so we're gonna have to trim that in a second, which I'm gonna show you right now while this is heating up. So you see how his hat's not supported? It's like leaning down, but it will be supported soon. All right, so you see we need to cut that off and on the other side, but everything else looks really good. Okay. 
So when you're when you're gluing this down, what you want to do is, and we're going to glue him down right now. Let's see if this once this warms up. Is I glue down the bottom. And this is showing a little bit, which I don't mind because then if he's standing against, propped up against the wall, it's not gonna bend my cardstock. So it's kind of nice to have the foam board sticking out a little bit at the bottom. Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna tape him or glue him at the bottom and then flip him over and slowly glue sections up so that, um, you know, cause sometimes you need to feed in a new glue stick. Um, it dries really quickly as well. So you wanna make sure that you're gluing down a little bit as you go up, almost like a slow back bend down in yoga. That's what we're gonna be doing with this piece. And then we're gonna be doing his hat at the end because it'll have the backing and then we'll glue the, the extra piece down to give it support. So I'm gonna grab some more glue sticks while it's heating up. And I will show you the difference between a big glue gun and a small one in case you don't know. This is the glue stick for the big one and then this is the small one. So you can see this is a much bigger gun. All right, it's slowly heating up. I kind of bummed that my high heat setting doesn't work on this thing anymore. So, all right, let's see if there's anything else I can recap for you while we're waiting for the glue gun. Um, yeah, sometimes it's really hard for me to record a super big piece that goes off camera because like this one with the hat, like it was hard to see it. Sometimes it's easier to do it on the floor so that you can stand up and make sure that you have the right perspective and the right, so you could see it a little bit more about like, you know, how much spacing you need to move things. So, but it's still, I mean, he's still gonna be so cute. All right, let's see, this is getting warm. Um, the tools that I use, so I love this, this thing. This is the Cricut True Knife Blade, I think. Um, it's usually you can get it on sale for 50% off. So you just gotta wait for the Cricut sale. I love this. I also love this tool. Now with him being 40 inches, we didn't have anything small, but when I have small pieces, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. This side is like a sticky tack and then this side you can push things in. So look at this. Like if it was a, keep in mind if it was a really small piece, right? So let me put it where you can see it. This side is tacky. So see, for the small pieces, it'd be awesome, right? And then I'll put a little glue or something and then I'll put it down and do that. So this, this tool is super cool. So it's the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick. I use this a lot, and usually for the eyes, um, but with him being, you know, 40 inches, the eyes aren't super small, but sometimes what they are. That's a really good tool. And then I love my self-healing mat. I always have it down. All right, this is going just a little bit more before I'm gonna glue it down. Um, all right, I'm just gonna give it a go because this piece is for me so I can always reinforce it later but I wanna show you what I'm talking about. So you're gonna glue it down. Like that, okay? And then I'm gonna flip it around And then I'm gonna lift up from this end so that I can continue to glue this down piece by piece. So, can you even see that? Okay, I know. He's so big, I'm gonna turn it in a second as soon as I can, okay. So here we go. I know, now you can barely see. But I'm gonna basically slowly roll him down this way, right? I mean, nothing's bent or pushed really crazy right now. Just lifting him up, but this gives me access to kind of glue a little bit at a time so that I can make sure that, you know, the pieces are gonna stay and see, so I can roll it down little by little. Just so that I know everything's gonna stay supported and is glued down. All right, I'm gonna pause for a second. and kind of push down to make sure everything is good. 
Oh man. So I must have totally moved him somehow. Okay, I'm gonna trim this a little bit because it's showing a little bit. As well as the hat, my goodness. I must have really moved this over. no big deal nothing is crazy let's get this down and then I'm gonna actually once we get up here I'm going to flip him over okay we're gonna flip it over because we're going to glue down that extra support piece right here like this or maybe like Okay, so when we're gluing him down like this, I wanna get the glue in here and here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I got this little piece up here. I'm just gonna bend it a little bit. There. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> and then I'm just going to glue all the way around to make sure that it's down. And knowing that there's a black background and then red cardstock so that this hot glue gun is not going to be changing my paper at all. And then I'm just going to put this here. Okay, if you can believe it, we are done. <laughs> I'm gonna let this stay for just one second. So he's pretty big, cause look at his face and look at mine. <gasps> so cute, right? All right, thank you so much for this crazy craft time. <laughs> um, let me know what you think and if you make it, please tag me as well. I would love to see your projects. And um, yeah, give me the feedback, and if you have a special request, please post it here, and then you can also send me extra details to Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, till next time.